Recently, I interviewed Dennis Wright, a professional photographer from Galena, Illinois. He educates children about the plain and woodland lifestyle. What I do is um, I teach young kids about Native American cultures, and I show them the difference between what is real life and what is Hollywood, because there's a lot of Hollywood things out there, and a lot of the kids can't difference between what is real and what isn't today. Well, I'm Cherokee, um, and my great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents did the Trail of Tears and went west, and um, my parents ended up in um, Iowa. I asked Dennis about the statue and what it meant to the Native Americans in the area. I mentioned to you about the about the Sauk and the Fox people, which... Um, among others, they were the ones that, that lived in this area in the um, northwest corner of Illinois. Um, it was mainly, you know, Sauk Fox, Illinois, you know. Um, the statue um, is um, considered a, the Black Hawk statue, and before you and I talked, I really never really considered that it's a statue to all Native Americans and for them to be um, proud of who they are. I think the statue needs to be um, cleaned up, um, get polished. You know, it's like it's Sunday going to meeting, um, clothes on, so that it does continue to represent um, the Native American people and we need your help to do something like this so um, if you have the time or or whatever you think um, is a good thing for you to contact this organization and say hey I'm willing to uh, step up and and help you so that um, this gets preserved for another hundred years or so. Laredo Taft intended his eternal Indian statue to remind everyone of the richness of the Native American culture. He expected the statue to be everlasting and indestructible, yet hairline cracking can be seen all over the statue, and areas have become delaminated and are falling off. The statue is a rare and important piece of 20th century sculpture, and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The U.S. Secretary of the Interior has strict standards for restoration, in which the new concrete must match the old in color, texture, composition, and profile. The cost is estimated at $400,000. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources has stewardship of the statue, but its budget is under duress. Financial donations from non-governmental sources are needed if the celebration of the region's Native American culture is to be appreciated by future generations. Restoration must occur soon if the statue is to last. Your support is vitally needed, and needed now. Donations are tax-deductible. No amount is too small, no amount is too large. If you would like to help, you can mail a check to the Illinois Conservation Foundation or log on to www.ilcf.org.